we have all at some point heard about homi baba he is the same man after whom the baba atomic research center is named he was truly a bharat ratna ironically he has not been awarded that title to this very day homi baba deserves the bharat ratna because not only did he lead india's nuclear program from its nascent stage and made it a giant for the world to reckon with but because he gave up his life for it too that's right the cia killed homi baba let me tell you how hi and welcome this is tfi english the national socio political analysis arm of the tfi media group i'm your host tribhuvan and in this video i will tell you about the mystery behind india's nuclear pioneers death let's begin homi jahangir baba is recognized as the father of india's nuclear program had it not been for his historic contribution to india's nuclear program from the 1940s to 1960s india would not have been as advanced as a nuclear powered and armed nation as it is today baba was awarded the adams prize in 1942 and a padma bhushan in 1954 he was also nominated for the nobel prize for physics in 1951 and 53 to 56 Baba was born into a prominent wealthy Parsi family. He received his early studies at Bombay's Cathedral and John Connon School and entered Elphinstone College at the mere age of 15 after passing his senior Cambridge examination with honors. He then attended the Royal Institute of Science in 1927 before joining KS College of Cambridge University. It is safe to say that nuclear physics was a passion for Baba. He was enamored by this rather new branch of physics which led him to conduct experiments on particles that released enormous amounts of radiations. In January 1933, Baba received his doctorate in nuclear physics after publishing his first scientific paper, The Absorption of Cosmic Radiation. Thereafter, Baba authored several path-breaking papers which are even today considered guiding lights by nuclear physicists around the world. The Indian Nuclear Weapons Program traces its history to the establishment of the Atomic Energy Commission in 1948 with Dr. Homi Bhabha as founding chair. While Homi Bhabha was a prominent of the acquisition of nuclear weapons, the then Prime Minister of India Jawaharlal Nehru had an ambiguous stance on the issue. While he had earlier stated his favor towards research in nuclear physics, he had staunchly refused to entertain the possibility of India acquiring nuclear weapons. The early years of Indian atomic development were largely marked by nuclear cooperation with Canada, the USA, UK and France and focused on the peaceful use of nuclear energy alone. However, Baba had recognized the immense possibility of the weapon and its strategic value. During a conference he said, "Nuclear weapons coupled with an adequate delivery system can enable a state to destroy more or less totally the cities, industries and all important targets in other states." It is then largely irrelevant whether the state so attacked has greater destructive power at its command. With the help of nuclear weapons, therefore a state can acquire what we may call a position of absolute deterrence even against another having a many times greater destructive power under its control. In 1965, Homi Bhabha had declared on All India Radio that he could make India a nuclear armed country within 18 months if given the go ahead. This set shiver down the spines of the world power. So within a year, Homi Bhabha is suspected to have been killed by the United States CIA. Bhabha was killed when Air India flight 101 crashed near Mont Blanc. on 24 January 1966 a misunderstanding between Geneva airport and the pilot about the aircraft position near a mountain is cited as the official reason of the crash which saw india's brightest and most decisive nuclear physicist losing his life a book titled conversation with the crow which contains the transcripts of journalist gregory douglas interviewed with former cia operative robert crowley claimed that cia got rid of baba to paralyze india's nuclear program Cowley claims that it was a bomb in the cargo section of the aircraft which brought it down in the Alps. On July 11, 2008, an alleged conversation between Gregory Douglas and CIA officer Robert T. Crowley had been reported by a news media organization called tbrnews.org. The CIA officer was quoted as saying, "We had trouble, you know, with India back in the 60s when they got a pity and started to work on an atomic bomb the thing is they were getting into bed with the russians referring to homi baba he said that one was dangerous believe me he had an unfortunate accident he was flying to vienna to stir up more trouble when his boeing 707 had a bomb 
go off in the cargo hold. The fact that there has been no substantive investigation into the air crash which killed Humi Baba is a statement of how the West conspired to derail and paralyze India's nuclear program. Indeed, India suffered a setback with the killing of Homi Baba, but the man's contributions, research and studies continue to guide India and the world at large to this very day. On his birth anniversary today, it is only fit for India to remember its nuclear hero.